Good morning everyone, how are you? I hope the weather's just as lovely where you are as it is today and you join me today for a very special video pun absolutely intended we're at Hampton Court Railway Station in Surrey just about over, literally over the bridge you can see just behind me is Greater London um, we're going to become continuing our crossings westwards from here so without further ado let's get started but before we get anywhere, I need to tell you a little bit of a backstory. So for our last episode, we ran into a slight issue, and that issue was that the Thames River currents were too strong. That meant that no ferries were allowed to um, navigate across the river for a considerable period of time, and after about a month and a half, today is the first day uh, where we're actually able to do that. With these lovely ferry crossings. Sixty eight to Q Retail Park. There's a long way, this bus. Please hold on. of the River Thames today. Here is our ferry, our first ferry of the day, which is the Hampton Ferry, which has been operating continuously on the site for over 400 years now. It appears to be running today. The return fare is £4, which is quite reasonable. Hello. Uh, return please, in fact I'm going straight back now, is it? Are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit scared being on a boat. Just get me What a delightful little ferry. Of all the crossings of the Thames we've made, Definitely the smallest ferry. I wasn't quite expecting it to be that small, but it's so delightful. Just over to the other river. It's man of his dog, training his dog to use the ferry. He gets the ferry pretty much every day. I can see why they weren't allowing boats like that to cross the Thames when the, when the currents were high. Bloody hell. Here is our next bus. The 2162 Staines, one of the few bus routes that go out of Greater London. And we now have to wait an extra 35 minutes for a bus. <laughs> I think I'm being a bit spoiled by the fact that all the crossings in London are so close together and all the bus connections are very frequent. But when, when we get out of London, it's very difficult uh, to plan for situations like this. So I think I'm going to sit down and have a little chair before we make our move. To our next crossing. Also, I have a feeling that this part of outer London is the only part of outer London which has still has London bus stops because we are in quite firmly in Surrey at the moment. Where I'm from in Hertfordshire, there are 
all the buses, as soon as you go outside the M25, all the bus stops are like yellow and green. See, that bus stop there is green, it's got a green shelter but a red stand maybe. But yeah, I believe this is the only part of um, TfL's network outside of London that still has the round all the London bus stops. Do correct me if that's wrong. There's probably some like bits near Orpington, south of Orpington, where the London buses run, run very slightly into Kent, but still have London bus stops. Our bus is due very, very, very shortly. That was just gone midday. Okay, after about a 15 minute delay, our bus is now arriving. It got held in some traffic somewhere, and this is, means that our rest of our plans today could very well be in jeopardy. just went straight past. He just went straight past. Diamond Bus, you should be absolutely ashamed of yourself. From here, what we're going to do is we are going to get our first taxi since we um, since um, passing through the Rotherhive Tunnel, and there is a reason for this because we are going up there. We're going on the M3. This is the Sunbury roundabout where the M3 begins, and there is one very very annoying crossing of the river um, in this area of the M3 over the River Thames, which we need to complete. And there are no coaches, no buses, nothing like that which run across this particular section of the M3 to my knowledge. So that's the section between Sunbury and the M25. So we're going to have to do this the hard way. I'm going to book myself an Uber and we'll, I'll ask the driver if we can go via the M3. And if we can, that'll be perfect. We are waiting for a Nissan Leaf, a black Nissan Leaf, which should be on its way very, very shortly. Hello there. Hello. Sorry, I had to reverse. That's <laughs> fine, sorry, that's my fault. It's an awkward place, isn't it? We'll be able to go via the M3. Yep, that's fine. Perfect. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Welcome to Chertsey Railway Station. On the Weybridge loop between sort of Staines and Weybridge, there goes our black Nissan Leaf which brought us here. £10 for a 15 minute journey. Very reasonable in my opinion. Uber have done us well today. I realise that Chertsey Station actually has a level crossing. And the level crossing barriers are going down now, which means a train is about to come through. Okay, so what we're going to do from here is we're first of all going to get a South Western Railway across to Staines before we are able to um, hopefully complete the Shepparton to Weybridge Ferry, which we missed um, last time. Here comes our train, the 1310 South Western Railway service to London Waterloo, which we'll be getting as far as Staines. No apologies, we will not be getting as far as Staines, we'll be getting this as far as Virginia Water and then changing to a faster service because I believe that is very, very slightly quicker. Oh, 
as we crawl very isolated into Virginia Water Station. Virginia Water is one of the wealthiest towns in the United Kingdom. Where we're going to change for another Southwestern Railway service. Looks like a few other passengers have a similar idea. Uh, so there comes our 1319 Southwestern Railway service to London Waterloo, which would have come from either Reading or Ascot. Which is going to be 455 750, taking us to Staines. Depressing seat. Okay, so we're just leaving Egham Railway Station as we continue our way east towards Staines. It is between Egham and Staines that we cross the River Thames on the um, Staines Railway Bridge. Uh, so we go as we pass through all the industrial areas of Staines. This area is well known in the UK for its um, relation to the computer industries. Lots of software companies based around here. Here it is, and it's all in all its glory. And there is a bus station now. We are going to be getting a bus from here, but it's not a London bus we're going to be getting. As we're joined by the lines from Windsor and Eton. The lines from Windsor and Eton don't actually go over the bridge that we just came across. They go just slightly later than that. Strange, the doors had a bit of a moment there. <laughs> oh look, it's the 950 bus. The Fort Park Express operated by Sullivan buses which operates all the way from um, Boreham Wood all the way down to Staines. It's an incredible bus route that I'd really like to do at some at some point. We don't have time for that today. We have our final crossing of the river that we need to take care of today. It's quite a pretty station exit. Immediately as you come out of the station, it's deposited into this little forest path, which takes you into the city centre. Which is quite cute. I hope I'm going the right way. I'm completely lost in these neck of the woods. I've never been anywhere near here before. Oh no, I just realised something. I've got some stains on my trousers. Oh no, I should be a dad, shouldn't I? I should be a dad. And welcome to Stains Bus Station. Somewhere where I've never been before. Maybe you haven't been here before. As you've got London buses, in contrast with very old buses. I wonder what bus company runs that Dennis Dart. It looks like it's in a stagecoach livery, but I can tell you for almost certain that it isn't stagecoach. Stagecoach doesn't run anywhere near here. I guess it's one of the little operators. I'm not too sure what standard bus is departing from, but it is going to be the 458 bus, which is going to be taking us to somewhere near the ferry, and then we're going to have to do quite a trek from there. Got demand responsive transport services as well to Heathrow from here. Here comes a bus which looks like it's just terminating in from Kingston, which will be our 458 bus taking us to where we're going to be going next, which is Shepparton for the Shepparton Two Way Bridge Ferry. Operated by the White Bus Company. Can I have a single to Shepparton, please? Yes, please. Thank you. Love the seat, look at it. Smells like a new bus as well. It's just got that new bus smell. As we depart out of Staines bus station, 
to make our way towards Shepparton on this lovely Volvo MCV Evora. Interesting addition to this bus as well is that this bus has seat belts, which technically means it's able to carry passengers on the motorway, which is exciting. This bus gets a solid 10 out of 10. Although it is not included in the single £2 bus fare around the UK, so this ticket was slightly more expensive than £2, it's very pleasant nonetheless. As our 458 bus leaves, we've been here before, haven't we, Shepparton High Street? We were here last time um, to catch our 557 bus, which took us to New Chertsey Bridge. This time we're here again, but we're taking around a 25 minute walk, which I can reckon I can probably do in about 20, um, which is going to take us to our ferry. I'm going to make it fairly brisk because the ferry, thank God, has a timetable. It's now 14.04. I reckon I can make the 14.30 ferry, so I'm gonna briskly walk up there. I've said this before, but one thing I really do enjoy about Mission Thames is that you get to explore so many places that you would have never otherwise been. For example, walking through the country roads and the back streets of Shepparton is not something that I could have predicted myself to be doing before I did this challenge. Seeing it's onto the Thames Path, so we are walking there in the right direction. Ah, here we are. I don't know if you can see that in the distance. Something that says the ferry point and Nauticalia. Nauticalia is the name which is given to the ferry. There used to be a whole like centre down there. There's a coffee shop, there's a courtyard. Yeah, got a full business going on down here. That looks like the ferry just down there. Nauticalia Ferry to Weybridge. Tiny boat. Absolutely a tiny thing. Yes, this is the Nauticalia Ferry, which is the most upstream of all the ferries on the River Thames. So once we complete this, we will have completed all of the ferries on the River Thames. I remember our very, very first crossing still. Our crossing from Tilbury to Gravesend was a ferry. And then we had North Woolwich to Woolwich, which is also Giant Pain, um, which is a ferry which we completed as well. Other ferries were that Canary Wharf to Rotherhithe ferry. Um, and then I think there were no ferries within central London until we got to Hamilton's ferry in Richmond. And ducks swimming in the Thames. I guess the water's clean enough here for in this part of the Thames course where the doctor can actually swim in the water without getting some horrible disease. Okay, off we go, crossing the river. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you, are you into cameras as well? I tell you, there's good and bad things with it. They sound quality is pretty rubbish without a mic. Back where we started. Oh, I've just got off the ferry. Just along the tow bus. We are at St Nicholas's Drive bus stop. If you've ever been here, I'll give you a hundred quid. Okay, Falcon Buses has decided that they're not going to show up, um, or more of their bus decided to terminate at Shepparton, which is beforehand, and go back a shim there's some sort of roadworks going on. So you know what time it is. The second time today, it's Uber time. Mr Uber's on his way, he's 1.6 miles away. Uh, Uber was our saviour this morning, it's our saviour now. The amount of money I've spent on Ubers so far has just been obscene. Hello. Uh, Charlie, yeah. Yep. Yeah. There goes our black Nissan Qashqai. That brought us back to Stain bus station. We're here at the moment. Oh, it's the Dennis Dart again. Probably coming back from exactly where it came from last time. As I said, we have one crossing of the river left to do here. And that is Stain's Road Bridge, which is just around the corner from here. 
probably the cheapest river crossing of the day actually today. All of the crossings we've done so far have been bloody expensive, but this one we can just walk straight across because it's in the right in the middle of the town centre. And here we are. Here are stains upon Thames's bit that goes upon the Thames. This is Staines Bridge. I quite like Staines, it's got that feeling of being like a proper industrial heartland city where lots of stuff happens, but it's also got that feeling of being out in the countryside with pretty riverbanks like this. It's quite a nice town actually. And it's our Dennis Dot that's been stalking us all video, I'm sure the driver recognises me right now. Okay, I think that just about sums up our crossings of the river today. I apologise for it being slightly disjointed. We are currently waiting here to just finish off to get our special 8 bus. This is a, a nice express bus which runs between Staines and Heathrow Airport. So we're going to Heathrow Terminal 5 uh, where we're going to finish our trip today. Oh, I was hoping for this to be a nice bus ride. We've got a street light, of course we have. Right, then single to Heathrow Terminal 5, please. As far as street lights go, this isn't actually a bad one. I say as we rattle as we go over a huge speed bump. But no, the street lights go, this isn't too bad. The aircon isn't working, but I don't know if street lights have aircon in the first place. Having just left Staines, we are non stop to Heathrow Terminal 5. Here are all the reservoirs near Heathrow Airport. And welcome to Heathrow Terminal 5. Thank you. Well, that bus was really, really hot. It was like being in Tokyo again. Anyway, it is here at Heathrow Terminal 5. We'll be finishing our journey today. And it is where we'll be starting our next episode of Mission Thames. So stay tuned until then, because we re immediately start off with a very exciting mode of transport. This has been It's All About The Journey. I do apologise for this video, it hasn't been the most well put together thing in the world, which is probably my fault, a bit disjointed in terms of the crossings, we haven't quite done them in order. But I'm glad we, that we finally managed to do all of them today. So until next time, bye bye.